Naples residents camp out after 4.4 magnitude quake hits amid weeks of seismic activity. Residents of Naples and surrounding areas have fled their homes and camped out in parks and cars after a 4.4 magnitude earthquake struck near the Italian city on Thursday morning, rattling nerves after weeks of intense seismic activity. There were reports of damaged homes and cars, crushed by rubble when the quake struck the densely populated area of Campi Flegre, west of Naples, shortly before 1.30 a.m. local time. According to local authorities, 15 people were hospitalized in the area. More than 1,813 earthquakes and tremors ranging in magnitude from 0.3 to 3.9 were recorded in the region in February alone. According to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, over the past week, nearly 300 quakes, some of them between magnitude 2 and 3, have been detected. The seismic activity is occurring in a vast caldera formed by the eruption of the Campi Flegre supervolcano more than 2 million years ago. The caldera stretches 125 miles beneath the Bay of Naples to the western edge of the city and to the islands of Capri and Ischia. The worst hit area is the Campi Flegre Red Zone, home to about 500,000 people. Italian Red Cross and Fire Brigade INGV, said they were helping many people who had camped out overnight and were worried about aftershocks. Schools were closed by local authorities on Thursday morning. INGV said Thursday morning that there was no immediate risk of an eruption from Mount Vesuvius or the Campi Flegre supervolcano, which is currently dormant. Mount Vesuvius, famous for burying the city of Pompeii in AD 79, is not linked to the current seismic activity, INGV said. It is located on the opposite side of Naples from Campi Flegre. The Campi Flegre area is currently in a state of positive Brady SM, meaning the ground is slowly rising, causing cracks in buildings and infrastructure, according to Giuseppe De Natale, director of research at INGV in Naples. De Natale told CNN that the pressure building beneath the Earth's surface could be a magma intrusion, or the release of gas from a magma chamber located about 8 kilometers, 5 miles beneath the rocky surface. Shallow rocks are not able to withstand high pressures, so if the pressure builds too much, the entire rock can crack, which is usually the cause of a volcanic eruption, he said. The last time the area experienced positive Brady SM was in 1984, when the ground rose 3.5 meters 11.5 feet before sinking. The recent increase in seismic activity has prompted a number of local restaurants to offer seismic discounts based on the magnitude of the quake, 17% off for a 1.7 magnitude quake. Pepe Mineri, owner of the A. Scalinatel restaurant, told Italian daily Corriere della Sera that if his customers had stayed at their tables during the quake instead of running out they would have received a free lunch or dinner. This is clearly a provocation to belittle the situation we are experiencing, Mineri said. Meanwhile, there are concerns for the safety of local residents, with volcanologists warning that the red zone should be permanently evacuated. The supervolcano's last eruption was in 1538, which resulted in the formation of a new bay on the coast. While experts do not believe an eruption is imminent, the earthquake that rocked the region has worried locals, especially as the region has not been able to devise an effective evacuation plan that would ensure 500,000 people can be evacuated immediately.